where do you want Africa to be in 50 years? And what steps do we need to take to get us there? Agriculture is the largest employer of labor on the African continent and also the largest contributor to the GDP. Time is now for us to get agriculture where it should be. We have come together to develop this partnership as an African-owned, country-led, shared agenda to drive transformation in agriculture and in the continent. If you look at what's happening in the many Grow 8 Africa countries today, the conversation is completely different from the way it was three years ago. I appreciate the Grow Africa that emphasize so much of the private sector getting involved. In Progress in the past year has just been incredible. We've seen more than 90 companies make nearly $4 billion of investment commitments. Even more important than the actual commitments are the processes that are making that real on the ground. So let's look at how we can combine efforts to configure our source for the long journey. The good thing about Grow Africa is most of the things that we are discussing are of commercial interest to the parties involved. So people are going to follow through and actually act on the, the points that are raised. We want to see smallholder farmers grow into businesses because they themselves have a vision. I think the partnership and the initiative has achieved one thing, to put the debate on doing things right. Avec le processus Grow Africa, nous avons retenu comme action principale de mettre en place une stratégie plus efficace de communication. For us, it is action, action, action. We develop a new model, which is we use mobile phones to develop electronic wallets. Our farmers get electronic coupons for seed and fertilizers and for mechanization services over their mobile phones. Grow Africa will be the driving force of getting everybody included, the farmers, the women, the youth. I think this event has really moved African agriculture forward. Of course, we need to keep the pace up. There's a lot of urgency to getting underway because there is a great sense of the opportunity, but also recognize that uh, it is a really long game, too. I believe we now have a caliber of leadership at all levels. They have set the stage for Africa to take off and to be the next frontier of global development.